Hello everybody, welcome back to the Advanced Vape channel. Uh, this is episode 4 in building a DNA250 color. So today, for the first time ever on this channel, we are going outside. Uh, we'll be heading over the river into Indiana to go to a makerspace. So uh, you have lots of options when it comes to personalizing your mod. You don't have to do anything at all, obviously. Um, I've done uh, acid etching with resin, uh, painting, um, laser engraving, which is what we're going to do today. Uh, really, it's just however you're limited as far as what skills you have. Um, I'm not really artistically inclined, so I'm not going to paint on it or anything. Um, I'd rather use a computer to do it, so it, really it's up to you. Um, today we're going to be doing just a simple laser engraving on uh, the door and the bottom of it. Um, I, I'm choosing the door mainly because I want to be able to uh, switch it out if I don't like it. If I uh, wake up one morning and just say, why the hell do I have a turtle on here? I can put something else on there uh, by getting a different door and doing a different engraving. Uh, so this is a, a makerspace location that has lots of different kinds of machines. Um, all of them are kind of at a price range where I wouldn't be able to afford them. Most people wouldn't. They're tens of thousands of dollars, but uh, it has all kinds of stuff. Uh, the first thing that I show here, uh, it has a full wood shop. Uh, this is where I built the little wooden plaque that's in this kind of the base for the videos uh, that I film. Uh, I made it on the CNC there. Uh, it has an embroidery machine. I've never used that. Um, some little old lady was using it. Uh, 3D printers. There's a lot of them there. Uh, I have no idea what's printing there. It's somebody else's. Uh, and this will be the machine that I'm going to be using today. It's a 50 watt uh, epilogue laser etcher. So I start by making the design on the computer, obviously, and then uh, printing it onto a little piece of wood. So I kind of mess around with a couple different designs and experiment on the wood to make sure that the size is right. Uh, I only really have one chance to do this right on the actual mod, so I really don't want to mess it up. Um, I'm trying different designs and different sizes. Uh, this is sped up in the video. So I end up going with kind of a long ways orientation right here of this sea turtle. Uh, to go on the door. I'm probably going to give this mod to somebody that likes turtles. So that's why I chose that. And there it is finished. Uh, here it is etching onto the actual uh, door. Uh, this whole process really is not complicated or hard or anything. Uh, you just have to make sure that your measurements are correct and that the machine is set up properly and then you just push the start button and uh, it's kind of like a printer, just watch it go. But I always do a test on a piece of wood or something um, just to make sure that I have everything set up right. There's a lot of different settings and everything that you really want to make sure are right. Uh, and there it is done. Uh, and here's me etching the very bottom. So uh, in the final video of the series, I'm going to um, show the, the final fit and everything and talk a little bit about the settings. Uh, and we'll just wrap everything up. So this is just a really short video on what I did to do the customization for it. And yeah, that's it. Uh, it really didn't take very long. It was about a half hour process to find the, the picture online of, of the turtle and get it all set up and try it out on the wood. It's not uh, the most involved kind of customization that I've ever done. That would probably be the acid etching and the resin that took, I don't know, dozens of hours to do that. Um, 
But yeah, it's just something simple and it has kind of limitless possibilities. You've probably seen other la laser engraved mods that I've made. There's one or a couple with slots on them. But yeah, for the next video, uh, we'll talk back uh, in the normal place for uh, putting everything together and the final kind of finishing thoughts on building this.